Hello everyone, we are starting a primer series for app in which we will go one by one to each features of app in the coming videos. So let's start with this video. So first of all, let me show you how to get order flow charts. So to get order flow charts, first of all you need to keep in mind that you are using either futures chart, options chart or the stocks equity chart. The order flow data will not be available in case of index because index are not tradable. So let me apply nifty options chart over here. The option chain will open. Let me select a strike price which is close to add the money. So this is the option chart for 21,750 call option. Now if I want to see the order flow data, I need to click on the charts and select the imbalance or the cluster chart which is on the downside. Now you can see the order flow charts have been loading. Now if I zoom in the chart, right, so you will be able to see the data properly. Now there are few settings related to the order flow charts. So here if you click on the right top corner, now under the setting you will get this order flow setting here you can see the tick size in either auto mode or you can also switch off the auto mode and put a block size over here you can also put format volume either on or off so if you are making it on you can put the lot size for nifty i put a lot size of 50 so what will happen the entire numbers will be divided by 50 right so now you can see you are getting numbers like 803461. You are not getting numbers in thousands. So it becomes easier to read. So this was about how to get the order flow charts in the app. Now if we start from the top bar. So first option is time interval. So if we click here, you will get the list of different time intervals. You can long tap on any time interval and make it to your favorite. Then you also have to customize your time interval. So if you click on the custom, this menu to add custom time interval will open. So here if you want to add 75 minute time intervals, so type 75 and here we have minute and you have to press this heart shape. So let's press this heart shape. And now if you want to add this, we can simply press on add. So our 75 minute time interval has been added. But since we also have made it our favorite, so we have to click on this heart shape in the bottom bar. So click on this heart shape and you can see that your favorite time interval along with your drawing tools is shown here. Then in the FX study section, you can search for indicators. So for example, I'm searching for bar statistics. So here and now the bar statistics is applied. Then we also have the bar replay option. Now if I click on the bar replay option, now the bar replay menu has appeared. Now if I double click on any particular candle from which I want to start bar replay, bar replay will get started if I press the play button over here. Now let me tell you about the templates. So friends we have two options, one is called template okay, and second is called layout which is on the bottom side under the save button. So there is a little difference between the template and the layout. So friends in case of templates you can save a group of indicators. Okay. Now we have also given the option to save the symbol as well as the interval. Okay. So suppose you are working on different stocks but you want to apply the same set of indicators to them. So what you can do if you select those stocks you can simply click on this group of indicators and your group of indicators will be applied to that stock. Okay. So you do not need to build your group of indicators for each stock every time. So in case of templates, you can save only the indicators. But here in the save button, there is an option to create a layout. So the layout is a more comprehensive option. Here you save not only the indicators but you also save the time frame, you also save the stock and also save the drawings, you can also save the tick size. So basically everything whatever is available in your chart it will be saved. A particular layout will have a very unique URL which you can also share. So this was about layout. Now if you carefully look at the layout option, we have this create new layout option. After creating the new layout, you can also save that layout. 
then third option is save app profile so what is save app profile so friends when you open go charting for the first time a default page opens right so that is your app profile then we also have reset app defaults you can click on that and all your settings will be reset now this auto save option is a little important so let me tell you about this so friends suppose you have created a layout okay now if your auto save is on and you are working on that layout you suppose you are making some drawings or you have again applied some indicators so what will happen those indicators and drawing will keep on saving okay now if you have forgotten that your auto save is on and next time if you open your layout your layout will look changed why because the auto save is on and it has kept saving those settings okay so make sure that your auto save is either on or off based on your liking now these are the list of layouts on the downside you can swipe right to delete these layouts so this was about the layout then we have an option of trade on the bottom bar if you click on the trade you will get the laser trading panel setting one click and quick trade mode so first of all let me tell you we have made very detailed video about these features so if you want to know in detail you can go to our go charting youtube channels playlist and under the playlist we have one click trade with brokers let me again explain it to you here so this is the laser section so in the laser section you will get your trades orders position balance this is the list of the broker which you can connect with go charting this is the trading panel so if you click on this you will get a trading panel so here you can see these buy button and sell buttons okay and these are the four type of orders like limit order market order stop order and stop limit orders so you can place those orders accordingly here you have options to set those limit prices and the market prices then you can also set your quantity and the lot sizes now suppose if you want to make any quantity or the lot size or say for example product type anything you want to make default so on the right side you can see 50 and on the downside it is written as default so if you click on 50 and default so you see the notification default size changed right so you can also set those quantity as default then if you come more down you will see the variety of the order and the product type so you should select these things properly otherwise what will happen the order will not go through say for example if you are selecting c and c for trading in options then your order will be rejected okay now this setting option if you click on that it will show execution beep on execution show position and show open orders then this one click trade option is for directly placing only market orders okay so in this case you will not be able to place the limit orders but your order will go through instantly and then you have this quick trade mode you can make it either on or off so if you make your quick trade mode as on your trading panel will not open you do not need to enter the values again and again your orders will go directly the recycle bin option will delete all the objects from your charts and this last option will take the snapshot in your chart so if you click on this you will get a url for your image as well as on the top left you will get option to share this image on the social media platforms so in the next video we will learn how to do the precision drawings on go charting thank you guys